Europeans are often represented as laggards when it comes to embracing innovative new technologies. Well, here's one space where they're miles ahead of Americans, according to a U.S. company named after the Isaac Asimov novel, iRobot. That's right, robotic floor cleaning. We're selling most of our robots outside of the United States, principally uh, in Europe. So there's something about the European customer who must be open to the idea that maybe pushing an upright vacuum cleaner around every day isn't why they're here. Colin Angle is the CEO of the Massachusetts-based robotics company and is in London to launch a new floor scrubbing robot called Scuba. The PackBot you see in the background is designed for a very different purpose, to reduce the risk to human life in combat zones. This robot can climb stairs, it has a remote controlled arm to investigate potentially dangerous situations, it can even get back on an even keel if it's knocked over. Saving lives and cleaning carpets, believe it or not, there is some overlap, says Angle. Our most famous robot, the, the Roomba uh, vacuuming robot, does a very thorough job cleaning your room. Why? Because the algorithms that were put into the robot came out of a military mine hunting program where obviously uh, being thorough was incredibly important. The rise of the robot in our everyday lives has been a staple of futuristic thinking for quite some time, and to a certain extent it is becoming a reality. There are robots to entertain us, robots to serve us, and even humanoid robots designed to help the brighter among us learn the finer points of dentistry. But Angle says this is the new frontier. Well, we take vacuuming as seriously as we take bomb disposal. Uh, we have huge passion for what we do because what we do is very hard. There's a reason why 50 years have passed without practical robots coming on the marketplace. Finding simple solutions to complex problems is the best way, he says, to turn yesteryear's science fiction into tomorrow's commonplace reality. Matt Cowan, Reuters.